again Jamavan appears in Treta Yuga and Ram Lila. He assists Ram. He's one of the bears that join all the monkeys, Sugriva and Hanuman, to attack Lanka and fight with Ram on behalf of Ram against Ravana to retrieve Sita Devi. The Jamavan is there in Treta Yuga. And again Jamavan comes into Dwap. Dwapara Yuga and Krishna Lila. So Jamavan is in Vamana's Lila and Satya Yuga, Ram's Lila, Krishna's Lila. And Krishna Lila, he fights with Krishna over the Shamantaka jewel in Dwarka, outside of Dwarka, Satrajit's jewel. And then he realizes after 28 days that he's fight and can't win. And the Lord can't win either, but he's get, Jamavan's getting so tired. So he realized that none other but his Lord Ram can defeat him. So he recognizes Ram and Lord Krishna and feels very happy and thrilled and awards Krishna the Shamataka jewel and then also happily bequeaths his daughter Jambavati to Dwarkadish. Krishna happily accepts the jewel and the jewel-like daughter Jambavati and she becomes one of the principal queens of Krishna and Dwarka. So in this way, Jambavan also serves in Dwapara Yuga. When Bali Maharaj did this, surrendered to the Lord, became bound with the Lord, then all of his demoniac allies and soldiers, they became very angry with his surrender. And then they raised their weapons and attacked the Lord, the associates of the Lord. All the associates, the bodyguards, or the personal associates of the Lord, they were just smiling. The Lord at that time, Lord Vamanadev, was surrounded by his associates who were the gatekeepers of the seven gates of Vaikuntha. There are seven gates entering Vaikuntha Dam, each planet, Vaikuntha. The planet has seven gates. Like the old cities in India, they had different gates. If you go to Mathura, there's Holy Gate, there's Dig Gate. There are different gates there, big arches, and there used to be seven walls around the city. Or you go to Ranganath in South India, there are different gates or Gopurams and walls surrounding the temple. At each one of these seven gates of Aikunta, there are two gatekeepers. So at this time, in Indraloka, Vamanadeva was surrounded by 14 gatekeepers and these 14 gatekeepers they were smiling when they saw the demoniac associates of Bali attacking the Lord so they immediately raised their weapons attacked these enemies of the Lord Bali's demoniac soldiers Naga Ayutya Pran that each one of these gatekeepers of Vaikuntha they were as strong as 10,000 elephants. They're like Maharatis, Atiratis. Then the first gate, the first gate of Vaikuntha is protected by Nanda and Sunanda. And the second gate is Jai and Vijay. Or maybe Jai and Vijay are at the first gate, I'm not sure. But the different gates, in one gate there's Sanda and Sunanda. At another gate there's Jai and Vijay. At, at one gate there is Prabal and Bala, Prabala and Bala. Another gate there is Kamud and Kamudaksha. Another gate there is Vishwaksena and Patat Trirat, who is Garuda. Another gate there is Jayanta and Shrutadev. And, uh, and another gate there is Pushpadanta and Sattvata. So these 14 devotees, they killed all these soldiers of the demons. Bali Maharaj saw all of his soldiers being killed. And then he preached to them. He said, listen, this is not a good time. The time is not favoring us right now. Providence is not in our favor. We won't be victorious here. Everyone should stop. Well, somehow the divine soldiers came to their senses and they stopped attacking the Lord and stopped being killed by the Lord's gatekeepers.